Uh, my name is uh, Freddy Galsa. Uh, I invented this uh, machine. Uh, it is a full sensory interactive experience cabin. So you can make complete experiences with all your, with all your senses. And also it's interactive. So it measures your brain waves, your heartbeat, your skin conductance. It's a framework. So in that box, actually, you can, we can place all kinds of technology and we can connect it to our software and steer it in uh, total experiences. You can't really treat an experience like a scientific experiment. It's not the same thing. But you can have a very successful scientific experiment when you can recreate a hug, but still that's not a hug. But maybe it is also not like this, especially taking into account the mind mindset of contemporary Western people. So that's something that we are researching or trying to find out or trying to experience during the days. The whole idea, the whole concept is the womb. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like the yeah. river, yeah. the reset. Yeah. Friendly brought some natural elements, actually spiritual elements from Guatemala, which are used for ceremonies and how this functions together with the uh, with the heat models, for example. I quite like this experience. Sauna as a spiritual uh, mean in different traditions. This uh, reverse, which is also a kind of common thing because it exists in Guatemala, but for example, I also did a reverse with shamans in Ukraine, which is something okay. which was very different, but with the same idea to reset. The idea is that you will get into the cabin to, to experience again these moments before you were born. When you are inside your, your mother, then you hear different beats and different sounds. And so you get these beats, the 160 beats per minute, you have the 140 of the fetus, and you have the heart of your mother. It's all about the respiration and meditation. We wanted to explore the concept of um, letting the crowd letting people that are outside of the cabin control the experience that somebody has in the cabin. So we were fascinated about something that we always handle uh, in our daily life, which are uh, technological devices. Our interest is to kind of uh, explore what it is today to use those devices and to be at the same time in different places and to connect to people. So how can we experience this kind of abstract and digital space? Every technology device like our phone has uh, many sensors, so they are a way of perceiving reality or perceiving the crowd. How does a device feel inside a crowd, being handled around, uh, feeling the warmth of people's hands, feeling when they um, uh, shake you around and uh, boss you around, or um, uh, maybe the smell of the materials you're made of. It would be even more interesting to, instead of having one device only that goes around, maybe have multiple devices and then experience instead of being one device, being a network of devices. So you have different input for different places and different times, so it's a kind of bending of time space. Uh. Uh, the idea was uh, to use this device to catch uh, brain waves. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, it truly really works. Yeah. You can read the brain waves. You could try to uh, relax in the machine. Four channels would trigger four different sounds. And uh, the sounds that will create some musical piece will change accordingly. A basic sound. A really deep bass. If you get relaxed, it get bigger, and it would go in all directions. If you would get in a state of true relaxation, the wind chimes would begin to sound. If you would get even in a deeper state of relaxation, then uh, there would be some angelic choir. <laughs> Being encapsulated in a kind of sensory pod, uh, I think has a, a lot of uh, potential. I was impressed that uh, smell could also be controlled. You can uh, program experiences 
that are not only predictable but also can be modulated by uh, body signals and sounds for example.